Lisa Guerrero, and she was uh, MC for the whole event tonight and did a fantastic job at the reunion. Uh, amazing job. Uh, Lisa, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Uh, kind of explain to us how you kind of got into the NFL cheerleading and um, what it's kind of done for you and really how it's impacted your life. Um, I was a Rams cheerleader in the 80s, and being a cheerleader in the NFL really set the foundation for me to be able to have the courage and to have the poise to go on camera as a broadcaster now and to deliver stories and to be in front of large groups and speak to them with courage and with confidence. So I think the number one thing that being an NFL cheerleader has done to me is to instill that ability to really confidently take a microphone and speak into it and deliver a message. of being an NFL cheerleader has to be, you know, it's been difficult. Can you explain like the process that, that, the, that the women have to go through and kind of, you know, how, how they kind of get to this level? Cheerleaders have different audition processes on different teams. Um, so I'll just speak about my process. When I was a Rams cheerleader, over a thousand women tried out for seven spots. And it was something I did when I was 18 years old. I was really young. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I was fortunate enough to make the squad. And it really changed the trajectory of my life. It turned me into a performer. It turned me into somebody that cares about the community. And it really set the tone for the rest of my life. So I'm really thankful that I'm 18 years old. In 1983, I chose to try out for the Los Angeles Rams.